With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, it is given that the instantaneous voltages uh, at the three terminal mark x, y, z are given by vx equals to v0 sin omega t, vy equals to v0 sin omega t. So this is plus 2 pi by 3 and vz equals to v0 uh, sin omega t plus 4 pi by 3. So this is basically given. Th these are the voltage at three terminals. Now there is an ideal voltmeter which is configured to read the uh, this uh, to read uh, the values of the potential difference between the terminal. Now it is connected between x x and y and y and z. We need to find what are the reading of the voltmeter. Okay. So we can say that for example this is our system. Okay. And let's say this is our, also our system. Now what we are doing we and uh, let's say this is our point x. This is our point y. And this is our point z. So if we just connect this. Okay. The terminals. So there would be potential drop between this x and y. So we are having a uh, this voltmeter. It is connected here. So it is an ideal voltmeter. That means the uh, this resistance would be infinite. So there won't be any current which would be going to the ideal voltmeter. And this is another voltmeter. Okay. It is connected between the point uh, this uh, y uh, and z. Okay. Now the potential reading which it would be measuring, it would be measuring x v x y z and it would be measuring v y z. Okay, it would be amazing like this. We need to find what is the reading of the voltmeter. So Vx equals to V0 sin omega t, V0. So uh, this is given and Vxy uh, RMS value similarly, Vyz uh, RMS value and also that it is independent of the choice of the two terminal. Now we know that what is Vxy? Vxy is bit basically potential difference between x and y. We can say that Vxy, this would be equals to Vx minus Vy. Now if you put the value of Vx, it is given Vx value. Uh, here we can see that V0 sin of omega t v0 sin of omega t minus v0 sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 okay so if we take v0 to be common so we can say that our vxy would turn out to be if we take v0 to be common so it would be sin omega t minus sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 so we can apply the uh, this sin c minus d formula okay what is sin c minus d we just write here so sin c minus sin d this is equals to 2 cos c plus d by 2 okay we need to take the uh, cos and then average of this uh, the, these two angle and multiplied by so this is the multiplication we are just writing here so it would be c minus d by 2 that means difference of the two values divided by 2 now if we do this so it would turn out to be 2 cos 2 cos omega t plus pi by 3 now if you just add these two quantities and uh, divided by 2 and in sine we can just uh, subtract this quantity and then divide it by 2 so it would be minus pi by 3 okay so we can say that it would turn out to be so sine uh, uh, this if you put the value of uh, this uh, uh, sine pi by 3 so and just multiply it by 2 so we will be getting the value as root 3 v naught cos uh, this omega t plus pi by 3 it would be omega t plus pi by 3 Okay, and there would be a negative sign because uh, this value would be minus root 3 by 2. So 1, 2 would be cancelled or we can say that this would be basically the if we just take the magnitude. Okay, so this would be the peak value. Okay, we can adjust uh, this negative sign by adding a pi here. So we can say that V peak. V peak in this case, it would be equals to root 3 V naught. Now, what would be the VRMS value? VRMS for our XY. This would be equals to root 3 V naught divided by root 2 because vrms is v peak divided by root 2 so we can say that this would be the case so we can say that this option v naught root 3 by 2 for x y this is correct now similarly we can do for y z so v y z it would be equals to v y minus v z now we put the value of uh, this uh, uh, y here and z here so it would be v naught we are just taking because in y and z uh, v naught is common so we just take the common term so it would be sine omega t plus 2 pi by 3 minus sin omega t plus 4 pi by 3 okay again we can apply this sin c minus sin d formula so it would be 2 cos c plus d by 2 and sin c minus d by 2 so it would be v naught so 2 then uh, if you take the cos so it would be cos omega t plus pi multiplied by sin minus pi divided by 3 again if you put the value of uh, this sign uh, minus pi by 3 as minus root 3 by 2 so we will be getting the value as root 3 v naught then it would be cos omega t plus 4 pi by 3 
plus pi. Again, we can adjust this negative, okay, by adding a pi into this expression. So we get, still we will be getting the same peak value. It, it would be root 3 times v0. So we say that what is the RMS value? V RMS for our yz. This is equals to v peak, okay, the peak value, which is root 3 v0 divided by root 2. So this would be the case. Now, if you check for the option, so we can say that this is incorrectly given. Now, here it is given as to be Vx equals to V0 sine omega t, but it is uh, asking for the what is the uh, reading of the volt, voltmeter. So this won't be the reading of the voltmeter if you if we have connected the voltmeter across here. So it would be giving the value as Vx uh, y and Vyz. And here we can see that it is independent of the choice of the two terminals. So we can see that it would be the peak value. We can say that RMS value is coming out to be same for this part as well as for this part. So D would also be a correct option. So the correct option are B and D. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.